Okay, let's uh, do the ultimate uh, full frame uh, lens look down. I actually got a lot of links today from somebody that uploaded a video and uh, some schlemiel that doesn't know bupkis about lenses. So uh, hot links, uh, only the most expensive lenses and never recommends anything unless it's the absolute most expensive example of whatever that focal is, be it wide or zoom, prime, ultra wide, or telephoto. And that was, of course, disingenuous, unhelpful, and uh, it, it's downright, uh, it's, it's being a schmuck when you do something like that. You're, you're being a schmuck. Um, so here we have 15 lenses. Um, yeah, got about a little over 180 lenses. So these are the 15 that I chose. Um, let's just start off on what this one person's recommendation was. And I have to reach up here to grab it because there's so many lenses. There's like $18,000 worth of lenses on this table, not including the cameras. <laughs> um, not every lens. I made a video a little bit earlier today saying that, uh, you know, someone that's hot linking lenses, that's, that's bad. That's bad. I mean, they're only recommending only. It's like there's no best lens unless it's the most expensive lens. If you believe that, then you're as much a fool as this uh, this uh, schlemiel is that's recommending that stuff to you. Is it sometimes the case that it's the most expensive lens? Yeah, it's just unavoidable. Sometimes the best actually is the most expensive. Um, one thing that was said is the 16 millimeter f 2.8, so full frame fisheye. Now, I am the god of fisheye lenses. There's nobody out there that can touch me when it comes to fish. I've owned every Nikkor fisheye lens made, including the old version, the AIS version, um, the 10.5 millimeter, which is a DX fisheye. This is sharp as a razor. This person actually made the comment that this net lens needs to be updated and replaced because it's been around for a while. Why? Because it's a D series? It's because it's the best. This, for a fisheye, this beats the hell out of everybody else's fisheye. So that statement that he made is absolute uh, bupkis. It's nonsense. Uh, I think that's the uh, yeah. I think that's the Yiddish for that one. Um, other lenses that were recommended: the 105, uh, 14, that new $2,300 piece of Chinese-made junk. Yeah, really? That that's your recommendation? Mm, okay, no. That would not be it. This is the king of portrait lenses right here. Well, that's an F2 lens. Well, indeed it is. This has the best bouquet. This is the best lens that Nikon makes. I think they've actually just discontinued this lens, but it's still available according to the United States website, but it's been discontinued, listed on Nikon uh, of Europe. The 105 F2 DC Nikkor. I don't even want why I'm looking at this uh, this goofball's lens selections because they're all wrong. Not all of them, but most of them are wrong. Um, one lens that uh, he recommends that he's dead wrong about, and I own that lens too. That's the uh, Nikkor uh, 14 to 24. Um, excellent lens. I've got it in the back room back there. You've seen it in quite a few of my videos. This lens absolutely beats it. It's the uh, Tamron 15 to 30 f 2.8 with oh god, no less vibration control. It's sharper. It's better corner to corner. It was, you know, you could have blown me over with a feather, just knocked me over with a feather, as the saying goes, to think that Tamron would have come out with a better version than the uh, than the Nikkor 14 to 24, but it is better. Um, another lens recommendation, which is both uh, accurate and inaccurate. It depends what you're going to do. The 300 millimeter f/4, uh, the PF, which is the Fresnel phase lens. A, it's very expensive. B, yes, it is uh, certainly faster in autofocus than the 300mm uh, F4 AFS right here. This is also Japanese manufacturer. It's all metal. This has actually been a birding lens now for quite some time. It uh, actually has better color rendition, a better bandwidth, better color saturation. It makes better images than the 300PF Fresnel lens does. Is it as fast? No, it's not. Is this perfectly fast enough for birds and flight? Pe biffy shooters or birds and flight shooters have been using this lens for a long time now. It rocks, it kicks smoke up in your face on the Nikkor, uh, the Nikon D500, which is right here up in front. More than fast enough for anything that you want to do. 
is the 300 millimeter f4 fresnel lens for four times five times the cost of this lens this lens you can get all day long for 600 dollars used on ebay um, is it a little bit shorter yeah not by much though this is actually a fairly lightweight lens relatively speaking um, for six hundred dollars this is the best value and autofocus speed a speed being aside which it shouldn't be on this lens but this is plenty plenty fast for bird and flight shooters no one's ever complained about this lens for birds in flight or for any action work um, this is the better lens it's the better value um, it produces better images is it slightly slower in autofocus indeed it is um, I could have brought out the 85mm f1.4 G Nikkor. Um, not the 1.4, excuse me, the 1.8 G. 85mm f1.8 G Nikkor, which is actually the sharpest, best purchase 85mm. However, the best 85mm is the Zeiss Planar 85mm f1.4. This lens is still made. This is Silk Sex and Sugar. I got two of these for a reason. You can usually grab them for like $850 used. For some reason, in this ultimate lineup, and everybody wanted me to make a rebuttal video to this nonsense, this guy's got absolutely no lenses between fisheye and 105 millimeters. Now answer me this one. <clears throat> You're going to make a video about ultimate lens lineup and you have nothing, nothing between fisheye and 105 millimeters. I mean, are you smoking crack? So obviously that video was not very well thought out. Um, it's not very intelligent either since the only thing that this person recommends is absolutely the most expensive lenses money can buy. Absolutely. And I told you a reason why in a prior video earlier today. Um, this is a full frame lens, perfect also for use on DX. This lens is still made for a reason. This lens is absolute pure silk, sex, and sugar. It's incredible. It's the cat's ass. It's the 35mm F2 D series autofocus Nikkor. It's a screwdriver. Is it super fast autofocus? No. Is this the actual ultimate 35mm? No, the ultimate is my 35mm Zeiss Distagon F2. They don't make that lens anymore. You can grab that used for like eight, nine hundred dollars The Milvis is no replacement for it. Zeiss decided to destroy that lens. They decided to upgrade it and change everything around, and now that lens is destroyed. Doesn't exist anymore except used. This lens still exists and new all day long. I've actually got a few of these. This lens is $200 all day long. This will produce the most amazing, color-rich, beautiful bandwidth, beautiful saturation, best rendition images you have ever seen. And this lens has been made for quite some time, and it's only $200. Well, usually I can often find it for like $180 on eBay. Absolutely the tits. Anybody that would buy this lens and be less than extremely happy with the output of this lens is just a flat-out idiot. Either that or they got a broken copy of it. Also, in no particular order, um, yeah, this person's ultimate lens lineup has nothing between 16 millimeters and 105. Well, that makes perfect sense in an alternate universe where stupid equals wise. Yeah, that, that makes no sense. Um, the 100 millimeter Tekina f2.8. I love dual purpose lenses. Great portrait lens, great macro lens. I've explained this lens a thousand times. Pretty sure I don't need to explain it anymore. I got a couple lenses up here in front. Um, which one's this one? Because they both look exactly the same. On uh, the uh, Nikon D500 here, I have the 20mm f1.8 G Nikkor. Absolutely the best ultra wide angle lens that you can buy, regardless of price. Zeiss absolutely sucks ass when it comes to ultra wide lenses. I don't care how much money you spend. You're not going to find a finer lens for astro landscape use than that lens. The a 20 millimeter f 1.8 G. Period. Flat out. Bar done. It'll just kick you in the ass. It's that great. Um, recently introduced uh, last year was the uh, Nikkor 24 24 millimeter f 1.8 G Nikkor. This is perfect also on DX crop sensor. Now this is a perfect street lens and wide angle for full frame, which is a full frame lens. It's also the perfect normal lens. Well, you know, 38 millimeters, whatever, for use on that DX crop sensor. So actually, this is the lens I actually like to keep on my Nikon D500. Um, perfect slight wide angle on the DX. Um, replacement. Now, they've come out with a replacement for the 24 to a 70, a 2.8. Now, that's the G series, but the new one 
is a VR. It's larger, it's longer, it has more elements in it. They destroyed the lens. So you want the earlier version that they just replaced this with, which is this one, the 24 to 70 millimeter f2.8 G series. Not the VR version, which this person recommends. The, that version is worse. Nikon improved the lens and in improving it, kind of like Zeiss did in their great stupidity, they took a perfect lens and they made it worse. Really smart move there, Nikon. Really smart move, dumbasses. Um, so the 24mm uh, f2.8, not the current version. Here, the 180mm f2.8, you can find these all day long. I got six copies of this lens for a reason. Do I need six? Absolutely not. Um, <laughs> the 180mm f2.8, finest prime lens imaginable. No, it's not VR. Yes, they've been making it for a really long time. I think they just started to discontinue this lens because Nikon doesn't like making really good stuff made in Japan anymore. They're getting away from that, unfortunately for Nikon. Um, in no particular order also, full frame lens is actually the best, full, best lens for a full frame or DX. It is a quad purpose lens, it's a macro lens, it's a normal lens, it's a portrait lens on DX. It's sharp as crap. It is just razor sharp. It is the most useful, damn, stinking, bleeping lens out there. It's a 60 millimeter, not the G series, not rather the D series. It doesn't matter if it's a D or a pre-D. This is a pre-D. The only difference is the BS uh, information that's sent to the camera for a flash distance calculation. Doesn't matter, okay? Just get the pre-D or the regular D, okay? It looks just like this. This is the most important lens. Any, I, sh I think I own four copies of this lens. Incredible. One lens to keep on the camera that never leaves the camera. Macro, portrait, normal on DX. Let's say it's the perfect portrait lens for full frame, although it's a full frame lens. This lens, fast as snot. Pretty damn cheap. Not cheaply made, but cheap. It's the, uh, this is the uh, 70 to 300. Uh, a VRG version. Now the issue you're going to have with this one is, is a lot of people go on eBay and they type in 70 to 300 Nikkor and they buy the wrong lens. It is only the VRG version of this lens. $300 average used all day long. It's the best value for the money. It's insanely fast, incredibly sharp, best value for your money. This is an awesome lens. It doesn't weigh that much. This is perfect for travel. This is perfect for everything. Never been anybody that bought one of these that was unhappy with it. It is insanely fast, but only get the VRG version of this lens. Um, I already mentioned the 300 millimeter f4. Um, yeah, what did I do with the Tamron? Yeah. Uh, knucklehead uh, Schlemiel is recommending uh, like the uh, VR. Now Nikon's coming out with a new 70 to 200 because because the current version of the VR2 is a POS. The VR1 was bad enough. It was actually better than the VR2. Now they're replacing that again, but that replacement won't be out until next year. All of Nikon's 70 to 200 2.8 lenses suck. They suck fanny. This is the most popular lens. It's the best lens. More money is even of no concern. It's like, well, money is no concern. What should I buy? You're going to recommend me this uh, $1,500 lens? Yes, this is the best lens. 70 to 200, 2.8 VC Tamron. 1500 bucks. Money is no concern. This is still the recommendation. Really? Money is no object and that's your recommendation? Yes. And countless thousands of people will agree with me on that one. Not that I believe in consensus, because there's no such thing as truth by consensus. However, there is a great deal of consensus on this lens that is accurate as it turns out. I've got too many lenses on this table. It's like I got uh, <laughs> I got eighteen thousand dollars worth of lenses sitting on like a thirty dollar uh, foldable table. <laughs> Everybody's like, "No, those lenses are gonna fall." Let's sh let's shake the table a little bit. Let's shake it. Let's shake it. Let's see if the lens falls on the floor. Let's shake it just a little bit. You know, everybody all about to go. Ah! Let's shake it. Let's yeah. Let's shake it until something falls on the floor. <laughs> you can see people out there going, "No!" <laughs> uh, yeah, here's the behemoth. This is the only lens I made a mistake on. Now I got two of these lenses. Why did I make a mistake? I was like, ah, another super zoom Nikon lens. Ah. 
I've owned so many Nick Orleans. I mean, I own tons of Nick Orleans. So I was very hesitant to use this lens. And kind of like some crusty old guy that's like sitting in a used uh, armrest chair that's got like patches on it and stuff with duct tape. He's like, here's your new chair, Grandpa. I was like, ah! <laughs> Here it is. It's a 200 millimeter to 500 millimeter Nikkor. What is so amazing about this lens? Oh my God! The VR alone is enough. It's just pornographic. It is pornographic. The level of V. It's almost like five stops of VR. I made a video showing I had an empty card slot, and it did a handheld shot of this at 500 millimeters, handheld, in very low light indoors. One thirteenth of a second, totally tack ass sharp. This lens is the tits. I immediately bought a second one. Why do you need a second one? Well, I don't need a second one. Why did you buy it? It's that damn good. Is it really that good? Is it really worth the money? I think, what is it, $1,300 now that this lens costs? Yes, it is really that damn good. It is that damn good. Um... So all of this uh, knucklehead's recommendations are stupid. He only recommends really expensive lenses, which sometimes the best lens is the most expensive lens, right? You know, there's no denying that fact. Um, but no lenses between 16 millimeters and 105. I mean, what sort of crack smoking nonsense is that? 35 millimeter, the 24 millimeter 18G, the 20 millimeter 18G. Um, what were the other lenses? Oh, definitely the 60 millimeter 2.8D series. I mean, if you don't own this lens, you're just a you're you're a, you're an idiot. You can get this lens two hundred dollars all day long on eBay. Let's shake the table a little bit more. Let's see if something falls off the table. Yeah, that's what people want to see. It's like ah, oh, the table wobbles. Something's gonna fall. <laughs> so that's it. Those are the fifteen lenses. Um, Tequila 100 millimeter. Now there's a little bit of overlap here. I have a Tequila 100 millimeter 2.8, but it's a macro and portrait lens. That does not conflict with the best portrait lens ever, which is the 105 f2 DC Nikkor, which is you can find about used about $900. Um, so that's it. Let me know if you got any questions. So this is the real ultimate series of lenses, and uh, since I'm not hot linking anything. Um, like some other schmuck uh, would do, you know, where he only recommends only the most expensive lenses, which is disingenuous and unhelpful and uh, stupid and, uh, dare I say the word, crooked. I won't say the word crooked, but I was thinking the word crooked, but I won't say it. Yeah. So... And I know a lot more about lenses than this guy does too. But I know a lot more about lenses than anybody else on YouTube, and most of the, and certainly so the top 20 of them combined. If you think that's egotistical, guess what? I don't care. I'm not running a popularity contest. I'm also not selling anything either. Go figure that one. Helpful advice that doesn't have a string attached to it, like a tampon. Did I say that? I I, I didn't say that. Some you know I heard. Yeah, I think I accidentally said something that my brain was thinking. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. That's the ultimate full-frame lens recommendation by someone who actually knows what the hell they're talking about and isn't hotlinking anything and isn't selling anything. Take that one and stick it up your tailpipe sideways. Right? Right. As the Russians would say, Uvidimse, do svidanya, paka. And. Yep. Yep. Bye. If you like this video, you can always drop a buck or two. Tell me to jump off a cliff. Whatever makes you happy, whatever floats your boat, whatever tickles your pickle. <sighs> Adios. Hasta la vega.